Hello, today we're going to learn some first grade addition strategies with Scoop the Dog. Before we talk to Scoop, we're going to read a comic called The Adventures of Math Boy and Math Girl vs. Grumpy Math Guy. And Grumpy Math Guy says, use kids should always count on when doing addition. So counting on is a strategy we know works. But Math Boy says, dang Math Girl, counting on takes so long, especially when I have to add on to a big add-on, like 16 plus 19. And Math Girl says, oh Math Boy, no one said you have to count on by ones, we can jump by however much we want. So Math Boy says, sometimes you just gotta jump in and get wet, cannonball. And Math Girl says, that sure was quick. So what we're going to learn today is a method called the arrow method that allows you to quickly jump to add numbers. So it's just a different way of writing my addition sentence. I'm jumping quicker than just counting on. So if I wanted to do 13 plus 20, I can show that by taking 13 and adding two tens to it. So if I add two tens to 13, I'm going to change the number in my tens place. I have one ten, and I add two tens, so now I have three tens. So it's just a different way of showing our addition equation. But I don't just have to jump by tens or twenties, I can jump by whatever I want. So if I'm doing 17 plus 9, I know that 17 and 3 make 20. So that's my first jump. I add 3. But I know out of 9, if I take 3 away, I have 6 left. So I need to add 6 more to 20, so I add to my 1's place. 0 1's plus 6 1's equals 26. So again, it's just a different, quicker way of counting on. So let's see Scoop do some. And Scoop says, woof, I'm going to count on by jumping by numbers that work for me. So if we have 14 plus 25, 14 is my starting number, and 25 is how much I need to jump by. So for me, a lot of times it's easiest to just jump by tens. So I think 25 is made up of one ten, two tens, and a five. So that's how I'm going to choose to jump. My first jump is going to be to add ten. And I know that's only changing the number in my tens place. My second jump is to add another ten. And that's, again, just going to change the number of tens I have from two tens to three tens. Now I need to jump five ones. So I'm going to add five ones, and that's going to change my ones place. Four ones plus five ones is nine ones. So I know that 14 plus 25 is 39. Now if I'm quick and slick, I could have jumped 14 plus 20. Instead of by jumping by two times, I jump by them at once, which gets me to 34. And then I could jump by my plus 5 again, and that gets me to 39. So this is the good part about the arrow way. You can choose how many jumps work for you. Over here, again, we could do that same process. I can jump by however I want, so I'm going to start at 18, 15 tells me how much I have to jump by, and again, it's always easiest to jump by 10s first. So let's do that. We're going to jump by 10, and that brings me from 1, 10, 8 to 2, 10s, 8, and now I've got to jump 5 more. But for me, that's hard at 8, so I want to make a 10, so I can even break 5 down into 2 and 3, because I know 8 plus 2 brings me to the next 10, and now I have to go 3 more to get me to 33. So I know 18 plus 15 is 33. Again, you could have chosen however you want to jump to get there. This strategy also works for subtraction, and I'm going to show you two ways to do it. We're going to do it Scoop's way and her neighbor buddy Talos's way. So we could do it two ways. One is we could subtract the same way in pieces. So I could start with 35 
And this is again what I'm going to take away. So I can do minus jumps. 14 is made up of a 10 and four ones. So I'm going to jump by minus 10, which brings me to 25. And then I'm going to jump by minus four. Five ones minus four ones is one one. So I know 35 minus 14 is 21. So that's Scoop's way. But I'm going to show you Talos's way. Talos knows that addition and subtraction really are the same thing. So he's going to start at 14 and add up to figure out how many jumps do I have to take to get to 35. So Talos starts at 14. He jumps 10 to get him to 24. But remember, our target number is 35. That's where we want to land. So I can still go 10 more. That gets me to 34. I'm really close to my target number. I know 4, 34 is 1 away from 35. So I've got to add one more. And that got me to 35. And so what I want to collect are my differences. What's changed is I jumped a 10, a 10, and a 1. So two 10s and a 1, again, gets me back to 21. So I could do it Scoop's way, where I subtract with arrows, or I could do it with Talos's way, where I add up. Likewise, it works the same way. This time I'm just going to do Scoop's way. I'm going to start at 28, and I'm going to subtract backwards. And 15 is made up of 10 and 5 ones. So I'm going to take away a 10 first. And that brings me to 18. I've taken away a 10. And now I need to jump 5 more ones backwards. So I know 8 ones minus 5 ones is 3 ones. So I can use this strategy for addition, subtraction, and I can make as many jumps as I want, which is why I really like it. It might only take me one jump. It could take me two jumps. It could take me three jumps. So let's check out a bonus question. And if Scoop gets the bonus right, she gets a treat. And the question is, find the sum, which means addition, if your first jump is plus 20. So here's our challenge. I have 13, and my first jump is plus 20. Well, here's the problem. I only need to add 19, so I think I jumped too far. So 13, that's 110, plus 2 tens, is 3 tens, and I still have 3 ones. But remember, I jumped too much. I know that 20 minus 19 is 1. So I've jumped 1 too far, so I need to subtract 1 and jump backwards to 32. So I can also do combination jumps between addition and subtraction. Have a good day.